Good afternoon, just behind me is the Sheraton Four Points Hotel. Um, yes, we're on International Drive now. It stands out, doesn't it? It's uh, quite a nice little landmark. I love the look of that one. It used to be called the Universal uh, Hotel. So and I, I don't know whether it belonged to Universal Studios or not, but Universal was just, just around the back there, just over the way there, Universal. I can see the top part of uh, Dr. Doom's Fearful, is that the name of it? Uh, um, right over the back there. So yeah, that's there. I can see a Lynx bus over the way there. And uh, possibly before the afternoon's out, I might actually take a wander into uh, the outside parts of Universal Studios along the City Walk there. We'll see how it goes. Otherwise, apart from which, going to have a little look at the... Oh, over to the right there, we've got the Congo River Rapids um, Golf... It, what, what's it called? No, I'm imagining too much there. It's just the, co just the Congo... Congo Golf... Um, that's it really, uh, of course there. It's another one of these, like the, the Pirates one down the road there. And we've got a few of them around here. I think this is, there's two main ones in uh, International Drive itself. So this is what I call top of, uh, it's top of the Universal Boulevard area anyway. So we're starting to get to a more, I would like to say a select area. Is it select? Not really, no, it's, it's quite nice. You've still got hotels up this way. It's just a little bit more quieter up this, when, uh, up this end. All the end down there, right the way down to Sandlot Road is probably the busiest and then it's not quite so so much as you get down to the uh, lower parts with all the trees and everything in the middle there. What a gorgeous day today. It's reaching almost 80 degrees and I'm finding that quite, quite just about nice really at the end of the day. Um, possibly a little bit warmer than we've got uh, back in the UK at the moment but I like it it's really nice and it's getting warmer each day as well so it's been cold over the last few days unfortunately but it's making up for it now and it's starting to get warmer and feel more like um, Florida weather is so let's go and have a little explore shall we so yeah starting off here just over the road at the four points Sheraton Hotel, as I said, this used to be, uh, as far as I know, it used to be called, well, I, it was definitely called the Universal Hotel, but I'm not sure if it belonged to Universal Studios or not. I think they just named it because it was close by. And we're just moving now down the side of the Congo Gulf, Congo River Gulf. Beautifully themed, isn't it? They got one about sort of similar size down the other part of uh, International Drive. This is this is now the very very top end of uh, International Drive. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that lovely? Look at the sky as well, and all these waterfalls everywhere. Yeah, the other one that's the Pirates Adventure Gulf. This one's the other. Yeah, well, there's also a Congo River Gulf. And at one time there used to be a, a Hawaiian one as well, which was down near to the Wonderworks. But that's no, that's no longer here anymore. You've got a crashed plane there. And a jeep. Lots of lovely little walkways. It's not just simply like that. some of the... Uh, the crazy golf I remember where it's, you can see where you're going and everything you, you've uh, it, it's it's all very flat and everything and you go around you play your nine holes or whatever your 18 holes and that's it this is this is an adventure isn't it isn't it lovely it's, it's great to have something like this I don't know anywhere in the UK that's got anything like this at all there might be but I've I've never come across it at all There's a lot of space in the USA and I guess that's why they can still build on it and make new and wonderful things. It's, uh, and this is no exception either. It's, it says they're golf and exploration. Yeah, so it's the, the Congo River Golf. I kept calling it the Congo River Rapids, it's not. So now we're going to carry on now to the fun spot. That's where we're going to go to first and just have a little look around there. There's two of these. This one is Fun Spot America. There's one down in Kissimmee, which is Fun Spot USA. Very similar, um, but they've got a few different things inside. Some of them are the same. Uh, oh, here we go. We've got a Denny's here, another Denny's here. I know of about three 
uh, along International Drive. We saw one a little bit earlier down just uh, off of Sand Lake Road, past the uh, McDonald's, the biggest McDonald's I call it. Denny's, the original American diner, yes? Here we go over onto your well, Pepsi there, there we go. Um, and then over, uh, as you can see on the right hand side, there's lots of outlets up there, and you get more and more outlets as you come to the top here as well. You've got the, uh, what it used to be known, I don't know what they call them anymore, the premium outlets. I don't know what they call them uh, now, but they're the same sort of thing. They probably st still are the premium. Bells, was it the Bells factory out there? There comes, uh, that's uh, a Lynx bus just coming down there. Number eight, that'll take you right down to SeaWorld. And then, of course, that's followed by an iRide trolley bus. That'll also take you down to SeaWorld as well and beyond. See the way all the traffic lights hang over uh, on cables over the roads here. This is obviously a slip road, so this will be easy to cross right here. But on the next section, I've got to press the button to cross the road. And then you wait for your white man to appear. That's the guy. We are just about to cross Kirkman Road. Also another busy road. And we're going. It gives you just about enough time to cross. You can see uh, once the man turns uh, white, then it suddenly, you get the numbers there, counting backwards. As you can see, you've got more than enough time, even for some of the slow walkers. And you probably notice there's cars that are able to pass in front and behind as well, because they can do that, providing there is nothing at that point in time, and they can turn safely, and that is even at a red light, and they can make, that's unless there's there's a block on that at all, and you're told you can't do, otherwise anybody can make a right turn, providing your, your, uh, your it, it's clear for you to be able to do that, providing your exit is clear, yeah, and there's nothing in the way, then you can do that. That's why sometimes you find, especially the tourists that come over, don't realise that, and you find everybody behind them beeping. That's what a lot of the beeping is, why you're not moving at the front there. Can't go straight over, but of course if your exit's clear and you can see that there's nothing there, then you can, uh, you can make that manoeuvre. You can't do that in the UK as far as I know. If, it's, if the light's red, the light's red. You can't make any turn unless there's a filter light. You've got filter lights here as well. There we go, some more uh, outlets on to the right here. There are hundreds of those, thousands of them up this way there. So this is quite a forgotten area up here because people usually anywhere below Universal Boulevard, right the way down to Sandlet Road and right the way down uh, just as you get roughly to the convention centre, those areas are the main tourist areas. I'm not saying this isn't touristy, but because it is, but uh, most people are... And, and a lot of the hotels are going to be down the down the other ends down there. But this is I like this end as well. This is nice. This is nice. There's more space here as well. Yeah, I like this. It's, this is nice up here. And it makes a change as well. So people that have been over many times before. Um, they just want to change your scenery but haven't been up this end hey come up here and if you're good at walking walk, you can walk up to the, the uh, 
the uh, as they call them the premium outlets there's lots and lots of them up there as you go further up and that's also the terminal for the uh, the the end terminal for the um i ride trolley buses as well they'll just turn around and they'll come right the way back down again So we're going to be turning around this road here and you can see that big half circular structure there that is where they lift now that's that's basically it's at one gigantic long swing that's what it is those two little triangular pieces sticking out uh, in the center parts of that uh, what looks like a loop there it's not um, elongated circle isn't it um, yeah basically uh, you are literally strapped in facing forward I think it takes two of you it lifts you right up to the single tower that you can see there right up to the top there and then it lets you go and you swing right the way through the centre and right up into the air literally like your Superman that's what it looks like terrifying if it's some of you like if you're a bit of an, an, an adrenaline junkie that's the this is the place for you really and they'll, they'll and you'll swing there you have several swings until you come to a stop and uh, that's it uh, I don't know how much that costs at all fun spot so this is fun spot America And the road we're traveling down is Grand National Drive. There we go, not International Drive, but Grand National Drive. And you can see what looks like a wooden coast down the end there. And we are crossing Grand National Drive. So this, I didn't actually know this initially, but this is the back entrance to come in. There, there is a front entrance. Um, I would have thought it'd be more up here because it's just off of International Drive, but no, there is a front entrance uh, down the other side there. Interesting. Oh, one of the uh, the circuits for the um, the go karts here. They've got three or four of these circuits here and the same also in the Kissimmee one as well the the fun spot USA so the difference between the two of them is one ends with USA one ends with America and this is uh, fun spot America we'll also pop back here uh, one evening as well see what it's like uh, all lit up and everything it's very colorful I have seen it uh, from the outside before so we will probably pop back here on another day and uh, see all the wonderful colors on the lights so there we go through the entrance and there's not many people here at the moment. I believe there's going to be more at night time and there is more will be coming in during the weekend times, I've been told. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, it's uh, very colourful. Please remain seated with your seatbelts on, unfold the record to exit. Please remain seated with your seatbelts on, unfold the record to exit. Please remain seated with your seatbelts on, unfold the record to exit. Please remain seated with your seatbelts on. Well, they don't just stick to just lower levels they they go up um, over bridges and the various different levels as well so that's uh, something I've only ever seen over here they've got uh, several parks that do the same sort of thing you know, spuds they're obviously cut like your chips and everything and uh, you can add things with them as well, so I'm not quite sure. I've, I've never partaken in that particular one at all. Something uh, for the future. There we go. That's your, all part of your fun and wheels here. And, uh, 
Oh, there's double ones and single ones as well, I notice. Rollerball, that might be open later on. It'll certainly be open during the, the busier periods, all these are. It's just uh, small little side shows, aren't they, that you find in uh, all the fun fairs and places. And rides for the smaller ones as well, yeah, of course, yeah, absolutely. I notice uh, at the moment, it's, it's, as we get over the back area there, the colour scheme appears to be more red, blue and yellow, and white as well. There we go, you, we're coming towards that area now, so you notice the colouring. Teacups. A blue giraffe. There we go. I wonder if he was original. He had the original colours, and they just repainted him. So there we go. You see what I mean by the colours just coming up now. Over the back, we're just uh, oh, that's uh, interesting shapes, aren't they? For these, um, that's ice cream. That one is in there. And that's your towers there. That's where they will. That's your, your central swing area. It's high. It's about 300, 400 feet, something like that. I, I would say about. Actually, I would say more like maybe about 300 feet. Maybe 250 to 300. What do you think? It's getting less each time, isn't it? And now you can, yeah, you can see as you come to the back here, the colour schemes are red, blue, yellow, and white. coaster there on your left, a carousel, a super twister, a water area of sorts. At first it looks like a pool but it's not, it's just, uh, it's obviously a, a very wet area. Yeah there we go, that's your, um, whatever they call this one, they're either twister, super twist, cyclone twist, uh, or a combination of any of those. Double decker carousel there, two levels obviously. Now, this one isn't for the faint hearted at all. scary yeah they do like their swings here don't they, they look quite extreme This is your hanging coaster here. I don't know what it's called, but it's your hanging coaster. I can find it very easily. The blue and yellow one. Fried treats, hot and fresh, funnel cakes. Yeah, funnel cakes are very similar to the donuts, the, the, the donuts that you find in the UK, you know, the, the freshly made donuts. There's a very similar taste, probably made of the same thing. It's just that they, uh, I don't know, it's, it's um, they like these sort of like fat things that come out that curl over each other and uh, I, it's difficult for me to describe them at all but it's, it's very nice. 
and then they cover them with cinnamon and sugar and whatever. So that it, to me, it's it's virtually like eating a donut, just in a different uh, um, packaging, really, as such. It's a nice carousel, isn't it, that? Just caught the end of the super twist. If it happens to be going while I've walked past, fine. If it's not, that's as it is. Otherwise, I'm just waiting around all day for a ride to start, and you can never tell, can you really? Um, got a, a, there's a smaller area for fountain here, so um, yeah. So obviously, you, you 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 swing over this, just over the fountain as well. So you probably get wet when you when they, uh, they drop that rope. If you swing forward, rip curl over the back there. Your, uh, your wooden type coaster over the back which is quite nice to see that's, that's a nice uh, nice coaster that Enterprise there Yeah. There we go. Starship Enterprise. Yeah, I've been on. Uh, been on those. That's a s smaller cars. That's probably just designed just for one single person. I've seen the one where you can get two in there. I've seen uh, variations of this ride here on the right. So, little look at their little tiny little. Uh, their little lake here. They've got a much larger one down in the Kissimmee area. This is smaller, so uh, still good though. It's adds all to the atmosphere and the scenery and everything. So I think it's really nice. Photo booths. You see the bins here, these stars and stripes bins, they've got these, uh, that's their theming all over this particular park. It's nice, isn't it? But that's something that's, that's uh, specific for these particular parks, or it's something that um, you can, everybody can buy from the manufacturers for their parks over the USA, I don't know. There we go, that's that little water park that isn't actually a pool at all of sorts, it's just one where you just... <laughs> just run through oh look you've got uh, some beds around the edge as well so it's it's like a, like a sort of a mock pool isn't it it's got the right colours and everything and all these sprinklers and everything someone would think it gets too hot over it at times wouldn't you Yeah, that's very much like a waltzer by the looks of things. Sky coaster. So that's that's the sky. Guy coaster, that the the thing that um, lifts you up and swings you. That's the sky. I think it's the same thing as well in in the other park. The same name as well. Just do, except in the other park, it's a, it's a big long A-frame. Whether it's just, I think it looks higher than one in the uh, in the other park. Here we go. Live alligators here. Take a look. I walk along the trail here, and um, yeah, can you feed them as well? Yep. Yeah. Feed the gators. Not sure if they've got anything to do with Gatorland at all because I see there was some advertising for Gatorland, so I'm unsure whether they are affiliated at all or just simply being uh, 
what you might call good neighbours. You advertise each other's um, wares and things. And parks and places. Pepsi. So there's probably no cola here. It's probably Pepsi. Usually if you find Pepsi in a park, then you don't have cola and vice versa. But you can find both products um, in the same parks. But they tend to stick... A lot of establishments, if they they tend to stick to one product as opposed to another. The ground is nice as well. What they've done with the ground, I mean, this is all brickwork and everything, so it's and it's patterned and everything, and that's the whole lot of it. It's very easy to walk on. It's quite a pleasure to walk on it as well. It's not loose gravel or anything like that. It's not unkempt, so it's it's. I think it's really clean. It's a very clean place. And it's been looked after. It's it's obviously looked after all the time. It's it's constantly cleaned. It makes a lot of difference as well. There we go, Johnny Rockets. You get burgers in there, fries, uh, all sorts of milkshakes, pizzas, uh, quite a lot of things in there. And I think the prices are good as well. I will remember a little mini slide down the side there. And to take a look at the the wooden roller coaster. Well, the actual the main track, a lot of that is wooden. The frame, I can tell you, as you get closer up, you see actually it's made of metal. You see that, but it looks quite good from a distance. It does actually replicate. It does actually replicate uh, a traditional wooden roller coaster. It's got the bends there as well. It's, it's isn't it lovely? And the top areas. Right, the top area though is wooden, so I think you can class that as a wooden roller coaster. Yeah, yeah. Sky Diner, Rip Curl, and lots of seating as well. That's important. I've noticed that there's a lot of seats around the place. You really couldn't ask for a more beautiful day, could you, than today? It's, uh, this is just typical of, of, uh, of Florida. It's Most of your days when you come over here are going to be like this. Cloudless skies. I kid you not. They, they, it's, it's, it's wonderful, isn't it? There we go. So we're outside now again. And we're going to take a walk back to International Drive. walking back down the road we just came along a little while ago you see the Sheraton Tower up the front there oh the wheels going now that all lights up this is very very colourful at night I will bring us back here at night time and there'll be more people a lot of colour a lot of light very atmospheric, very magical, I promise you. And we'll take a walk up here then as well and see what's happening. There we go, crossing back over Grand National Drive and now going to be heading up this way. Going to go through the car park, I think, and head up towards International Drive. So, uh, I think I might actually have a wander 
into Universal Studios and give you an idea just how far away it is from International Drive. I've already been walking anyway, but hey, walking isn't bad for you at all. It's about a cool 80 degrees now, so uh, I must be mad. You can probably tell now. I've got to get back out onto the main road there, which is International Drive, and I'll do that by, see where Dennis is up there? Um, yeah, there's a, across the car park, this is the back at what we've what we got here, Fontania Family Entertainment Centre, Fun Play Party Tree, there we go, got a few places here, and over here, eateries, restaurants, gift shops, we're just in the back lot, lot of it all. Glorious day to be out and about. And the Sheraton Towers in front there. So we just come from there. We're going to go back through past. We've got to pass the Sheraton Towers on the way through. See that? The shadow of the helicopter coming over. Uh, I have to go the long way round. Well, am I? Can I do this here? Can I do this here? It's not going to sink, is it? No. Okay. In Florida, when you've been walking many, many different places, um, you need to, uh, right now, yeah, you need to make many shortcuts. Yeah, what's happening here? Because I need to, when am I crossing? I'm going to cross this. Let's take you all down to the I-4 along here. Carry on outside Denny's, just next to uh, um, Four Points. I will be continuing this walk um, and I think I'm going to split that up and put that onto another upload. That's going to be from here up to Universal Studios, Universal uh, City Walk. We're going to have a walk around that.
you see there's buildings over on your left hand side there those are part of the new Universal Studios hotels and you'll have buses going up and down there all the time every five minutes there'll be a bus there waiting for you to take you to the Universal Resort up the way there so you'll be there in about four or five minutes we're going to walk uh, and it's going to probably take about 20 minutes from the edge of International Drive but I'm going to show you how to do that you can get a bus there you can get a bus back but I'm going to walk there and then I'm going to get a bus back it's going to cost me about two dollars to do that here we go we're just passing the Congo uh, River now Congo River Golf Live gators, feed and hold baby gators. Yeah, we'll have a look at that later. You know, when we come back to next time, I think. Maybe the night time. It is beautifully themed, isn't it? It really is. And when you've got the sun out and the blue skies are backdrop and everything, it's just, it's just incredible. And it does look as lovely as this. It really does when you're here. 